um, first of all, like I just showed you, the Milky Way has a lot of dust passing, you know, that it is that we're looking through, and so that blocks starlight. But if we look at the infrared, then we actually see very bright um, features. And so it's dark. This is called the dark rift, um, but it's not so dark in the IR. And now what I want to do is this box is in the direction of the constellation Sagittarius. And I want to zoom in on there because there's some cool features in this direction. Um, so here we are in Sagittarius. I think this is a little bit rotated um, from the previous image. And you can see there's, again, uh, our dark dust feature cutting through most of the image. Um, but then there's also a few nebulae. We see some red nebulae and a blue one over here. Um, this is M8 and M20. And so we're going to look in a little bit more detail at these particular nebulae. So let me zoom in one more time. Now this is M8, the bigger uh, emission nebula that we're looking at. We're looking at a red, this is a visible light image. And so M8 is mostly red, indicating that it's an emission nebula. That means that it must have young bright stars in it that emit some UV. And we do see quite a bit of young bright stars in this region. And so some of these, um, not necessarily the ones we're looking at, but some bright stars in this area must be exciting that hydrogen gas so that it can glow red. So what we can learn from this image is that in here somewhere, there are, is active star formation going on. All right, so now this kind of blue nebula plus red nebula, this is a pretty cool feature. This is M20. This is also called the Trifid Nebula. So let's zoom in there. And as we look closer, we see there's a bright emission nebula similar to M8 that we just saw. So we know this, again, must be a region of star formation. But we also see there's a reflection nebula right next to it. So this is, we're not looking at um, light that's going through this, but we're seeing probably light um, from some of these young stars that is scattering off of that uh, same hydrogen gas toward us. So an example of a reflection nebula and a mission nebula together. And then this, um, why it's called the trifid is because it's, this emission nebula is split into three by these dark dust clouds. So when they're like this in kind of a, a you know, string, uh, stringy kind of shape, we call these dust lanes. So this is the kind of, you know, the cold dust where stars form from. And that's why we're seeing this uh, emission nebula from the star formation that's actively occurring. All right, we can confirm that this is a star forming region by looking in the infrared. So when we look in the infrared region, again, notice this dark dust lane becomes a bright feature in the infrared because those dust uh, and uh, gas molecules are glowing in the infrared. And we can also see bright spots in the infrared that indicate where a star is forming. So those are warm regions. Um, and we'll talk about this more on Wednesday, but I wanted to just show you now because I think it's pretty cool just looking at the trifid in these different ways. You can really see the, the, the patterns of those dust lanes light up in the IR.